It looks over the Mississinewa from the edge of Matthews, a throwback to a time when it connected thousands of workers to jobs and supplies. Now the Cumberland Bridge connects to people in a different way. There are faster and better ways to cross the river, but none that surround you with the stories of the past. Hey. Hey. Hey, Bob. Take that home with you, Bob. When they cross, every truss they see and board that thumps under their car is here in part because of Larry Barnett. I'm a boy with kids, you know what I mean? It, just, it, it was just here. It was just thing was here. It just, just like anybody take advantage of it and enjoy it and play it and everything. But never thought about the upkeep, maintenance of it. And there's no way it can maintain itself. Larry's love for the bridge is personal. In 1973, his brother died and he built a detailed model to honor his memory. He inspected every inch and realized the bridge was falling apart. When I started measuring it up, I found so much rot in the bridge. Uh, lower trusses on the end above the butt most just, just hanging. That led to years of Larry scratching for repair funds, lobbying government officials, and creating a bridge historical society, which he still heads today along with Vice President Bill Clock. There were stopgap fixes along the way, but a major restoration with state money came more than 25 years after Larry started his campaign. The bridge is now on the National Register of Historic Places, and Larry's work is also remembered. Larry's been so dedicated to this bridge, if it wasn't for him, there's no doubt the bridge wouldn't be here. Still, even at age 70, Larry's work hasn't stopped. The old timers reconstructed the bridge. The Historical Society preserves the stories that go along with the beauty. There's the flood of 1913 that took the bridge a half mile downstream, and the workers who brought it back on rollers. The various restorations that have changed the shape and look of the bridge and the craftsmanship of 1999 that protected the bridge's legacy for a new generation. And so they keep coming, hundreds each year from all over the world, to make this small crossing, finding joy in the simplicity of a single lane that takes them from darkness to light and from present to past. A journey Larry and the historical society still work to share. It's a constructing masterpiece. Something they can't match today, even with the modern equipment and everything method. If we quit now, how we end up bridge being missed because people know you don't care about it. And uh, once you're banding a bridge, it, they go, they go fast, they go fast. It started as a family tribute, and now for his brother and his town. Larry Barnett has a promise and a bridge to keep.